the curiosity that brought you here. Um, I'm sure you have some questions. Uh, just, I would love to hear something from you first. Uh, yeah. What were you expecting? What were you wishing? What were you hoping for? Or maybe just an empty blue sky. I am not used to sitting. When I give speeches, I stand. <laughs> and I don't walk, I stay still the whole time. And, uh, and then, then I speak. I gave up uh, sitting a long, long, long time ago. Yeah. Been given two wonderful, beautiful legs. And whether it's uh, a mouse, chickens, anybody with four legs or eight legs or two legs, but these two legs are phenomenal. They're amazing in what they do. But most of us, I'm sure we don't really think about it. We just use them and be business oriented and think and think and think and think and think and think. And yet thinking is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But what is behind the words? What's in between the words? What's in between the letters? And to pay attention to what is in between. And that became more important. Who are you walking through this door? Who are you with all the days and weeks and months and years that your mother or your father helped you to grow up, walking in and out of your bedroom doors and bathroom doors, front doors and back doors, and then you've got car doors and all kinds of other doors that we find ourselves once we leave the home. And what about these doors? Have you counted all the doors that you have opened or other people have opened up that door for you. And that's what it is to go asleep. Going to sleep is a beautiful, beautiful door. Not just to re-energize our physiological body, but to our attune our bones, to literally attune our bones inside. And this is what helps us to think better, to feel better, to understand better. So in essence, a, a phrase came out, know your bones. Know your bones. All our feelings and thoughts and situations that take place is what helps to keep the bones healthy inside. But when we neglect someone else, when we neglect ourselves, the bones, they have problems. It's like a child, these bones very much like a child, even though they age too. The child loves to be pampered and touched, respected, looked at, and listened to. And as well as these bones of ours. Look at the beautiful cheekbones that you all have. Holding the beautiful eyes that has literally taken us many, many kilometers all throughout this planet, even just residing in this state of New Mexico. The whole inside of our physiological body that lies underneath our skin and how we can easily touch it and feel it and such. 
but the vibration not just of our thoughts, our words, and not just our words, our feelings, reverberating, traveling all the way down to the bottoms of our toes, to the tips of our fingers, even connecting with the hairs, all the little hairs all throughout our body. Makeup is beautiful, it is. Kissing is beautiful, it is. But to give a kiss to your bones, and we have this ability inside. Lay down your bones. Lay down your bones. And not just for a coffin, not just to go away from this planet, but like sitting on the floor in front of a wheel of a car, knowing, sometimes not knowing what direction to turn that wheel and when to apply the brake and the gas pedal. We are like a car, an automobile. And sometimes our windshields get very dirty and our windshield wipers don't work. And then someone comes around and maybe just place their hand on left hand or right hand. And all of a sudden the windshield wipers are working again, helping our eyes and such. As all the insects and all the animals, they have this too, but no doubt it does operate just a little bit differently. But they feel and think, they hurt, they pain, they wonder, and they dream too. But to have these two legs, and to be able to walk here and there, stairways and such. What a beautiful thing it is. So just saying these words is like singing to ourselves inside and the reverberations that is taking place all throughout this beautiful body of ours. And so much time and space there is inside us. <laughs>